My name is Mark Gross, and uh, it's a pleasure to know Mr. Jones and uh, be affiliated with uh, Victory House. Uh, I'm bad with time, so remind me it's three or four minutes. Uh, but my story is uh, real similar to the, the gentleman that, that gave his. Uh, I had been uh, on drugs and alcohol probably for over 20 years and started at a very young age. And uh, uh, my life had came to the same point that his it came to. It was, it was a wreck. And uh, I think that's going to be a common thread in all of our stories, that our, our life had become unmanageable and it was a wreck. And uh, if I didn't do something different, I was going to die. Uh, you know, I, I tested all the waters as far as alcohol, uh, heroin, cocaine, crack. Uh, you know, I didn't have a favorite. I loved them all. And uh, uh, if I didn't do something different, I was going to die. And I was at uh, about 36 years of age. Uh, I had to get to a point where my whole life was falling apart. I was in the middle of the war. I, I think you'll find it's a common thread with, with all of us. It was just a disaster, you know, and if I didn't, uh, this was a crossroads in my life. And I was raised in the church, and uh, I knew the right way. I was brought up right. And, uh, in my kitchen, I had an encounter. God. See, uh, we all have to come to that point where we'll humble ourselves. And uh, pride will keep us from doing that. And in my kitchen, I had that encounter. And when I just dropped to my knees, and the load was just too much for me to carry. And I asked him into my life. And uh, I had an encounter. It was a, a, an encounter. It was my burning bush moment. It was real. And when I got off my knees that day, the air was smelled better, the sun shone brighter, and I was completely delivered that day of alcohol, drugs, cocaine. My life was radically changed, transformed by Jesus Christ that day. And from that day forth, my story is I never did another drug, and I never tasted alcohol again, and the power of God broke every punch in my life, and uh, that is a glorious moment, but as my brother shared, the struggle is never over, the struggle is never over, and the enemy will always come in like a flood, and always try to tempt you, and dissuade you, and, uh, and I had to continue, recovery is a, a process, it's still a process, even with Jesus. You have to start building a new foundation. You're a new creation. You're a new creature. Your mind has to be renewed, just like the word says. Uh, your mind has to be renewed. Everything has to change in your life. People, places, things. I mean, it's a radical change by Jesus, but there was a lot of action on my part that had to take place to get me to 20 years plus years of sobriety. I didn't sit on my butt and, 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 and it just dropped from the sky. I attended a, a ton of meetings. Uh, got in the Word, uh, attended church. I can remember going to so many AA meetings. The guy said, how many times have you been here? And I said, three times. You know, I, I, I wasn't picky. I was looking for help. Uh, you know, people can pick with AA, but I was just looking for all. I wanted to change so bad that I was looking for every available avenue to have that change completed in my life. And... Uh, Unfortunately, Victory House wasn't around at that time. I would have embraced that. But I was so sick and tired of, of my life being a disaster. And God had done such a thorough work. But I was going to continue to do everything and put as much energy into recovery as I did and to get high that there was going to be nothing that was going to stop me from getting free and living a life of victory in Jesus. Nothing was going to stop me. And I was that convinced that day that his hand had changed my life. And, uh, 20 years plus, and I gave all the glory to Jesus. All the glory. Amen. Amen.